to talk to you today about something that's near and dear to my heart. As seniors and baby boomers, we're one of the most targeted groups on the internet. And the reason that we're targeted is that first of all, we're digital immigrants. We didn't grow up with technology. We're not considered to be digital natives like our children and grandchildren. And we are a trusting generation. We grew up trusting people and trusting things that we saw on television and trusting things that we heard in the news. And that's all good. But in this day and age where the internet of technology is growing every single day, the internet of things is getting larger, we need to learn to be a bit skeptical. The most important thing that I'm gonna tell you today is if you experience a cybersecurity incident or a threat, or you click on a link that you shouldn't have, make sure you tell someone. Tell your children, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Make sure that you let them know so that, that they can help you. My job is to provide you with, with the educational tools that you need to educate yourself and become more internet savvy and with time that will happen. But the most trusting people on the internet are the people that end up getting hurt the most. Just because we click on a link does not mean that we are naive, losing our minds or stupid. It means that the internet scammers and hackers are getting more sophisticated every single day. I've been hacked and I told my friends and I did something about it because unless you tell someone, people can't help you. Don't be ashamed. There is nothing wrong with being trusting. I just want to teach you how to be skeptical on the internet and how to protect yourself from being hacked, having a cybersecurity incident, having things happen that you don't want to happen. One of the things that I'm going to tell you today is that if you see a link, if somebody calls you, if you get an email or a phone call asking you to provide personal information or any information about an account, never do it. Absolutely never do it. Don't answer that phone call. Don't click on that link. Call the company directly or go to their internet website directly and find out if there's a real problem. What happens with these scammers and hackers is that they always have a sense of urgency in their message. You need to do this right away. You need to provide your information to me. And they can be really, really nasty. Everybody gets scammed and hacked, some people more than others. Most people have no problem trying to seek help to find out what to do. Unfortunately, our generation is very proud. I'm as proud as you are, and it's difficult to say, hey, I've fallen scam to these horrible, horrible hackers. But they are very crafty, and it's getting more sophisticated and craftier during, craftier every single day. So, educate yourself. Come to my site, CybersafeSenior.com, and get the most up-to-date technological information. I want to become your confidant. I want to become your provider of good educational information that is basically translated into the language that we speak. I know that I've recently gone to, um, I won't name the company, but the initials RBB, and had a wonderful experience with the, the geeks that are there. Um, but they speak a different language than we grew up speaking. Technology is complex, and I want to make sure that you're comfortable with the things that you have. The world of technology is amazing. We love the convenience, we love the challenge. We love to be able to connect with our friends and our grandchildren, um, but we need to be skeptical. So report any problems that you have. Don't be ashamed, don't be embarrassed. It happens to us all. And be senior smart and see you in cyberspace. Mm -hmm.